guys, it is Sophie from Games by Reigns and thank you so much for watching today's video. Today we are going to do a leg workout with a glute focus as we are going to start with some heavy hip thrust. And as you can tell by my braids, it is going to be an intense session. So in general, my workout routines always have a strength component as well as a muscle hypertrophy component. So I focus on building strength and building muscle mass. And the reason being is that both concepts are interrelated, which means that they can reinforce each other. So what you want to do in the gym is you want to make sure that you keep progressively overloading your muscles, which means that you make them work harder than they are used to and therefore they will adapt. If you focus on building strength, then that means that you can keep progressively overloading your muscles in the muscle hypertrophy rep ranges. So therefore I'm going to start with five sets of five reps, which is actually pretty intense. Now, if you're currently not comfortable with performing the hip thrust with proper form, then I would recommend you to to focus on that first so instead of going to the lower rep ranges with higher weights which is the five sets of five reps that I'm going to do today I would recommend you to do three sets of 12 reps instead and just really focus on perfecting your form with my routines I always include a variety of rep ranges different forms of resistance different movement patterns and also different angles of performing the exercises and that is exactly what you will see in this workout video now if you're looking for a structured program then I'll make sure to leave the link to my program in the description box down below so you can check it out if you would like to so without further ado let's continue with the heavy hip thrust and just as a quick note i already did my warm-up but definitely make sure that you are warmed up properly before continuing with the workout with the hip thrust you want to make sure that the bar is aligned above your hips because otherwise the load will be different on each side and that will definitely get you out of balance in terms of feet placement you want to make sure that when you are at the top of the move Movement, that your knees are at a 90 degrees angle and that is exactly where your feet should be and I like to point them straight forward. I also look forward so I don't hyper extend my back whenever I am hip thrusting. Next exercise is a unilateral exercise, which means that it is a single leg, in this case, exercise. So we are going to perform the barbell lunge and I'm going to do three sets of eight to 10 reps per side. The reason why you wanna incorporate unilateral work into your workout routine or into your program is because it works your legs, in this case, independently. So whenever you are performing a leg extension, for example, and you have a stronger leg, then that leg might take over. You cannot cheat when Whenever you are performing single leg exercises so that is why I include them into my workout routine because it just helps with minimizing muscle imbalances or it helps with preventing them if you have a weaker side then make sure to start with that one and match the work with your stronger side you might find that whenever you are performing unilateral exercises that your stronger side is actually able to do more reps for example than your weaker side and you just feel like you want to do more don't do it because we want to prevent or minimize the muscle imbalances so start with your weaker side, match the work and then eventually the imbalances will cancel out or balance out. I'm going to start with my left leg because that one is a little bit weaker compared to my right leg. exercise is the landmine squat. Two reasons why I really really like this exercise and the first one is because it doesn't have a heavy load on your back but the main reason is that it forces you to keep proper form and that is because the way the bar travels you have to really sit back into your squat and it forces you to keep your torso upright. So if you're currently struggling with your squat then this exercise might be a good thing to implement into your program. I'm going to perform four sets of 12 reps. Lights down low, still 
my legs and my glutes are already done but we're not finished yet because we are going to move on to the alternating side lunge i am using a dumbbell and i am going to perform three sets of 12 reps per side but since it's alternating after finishing your right and your left leg that is one rep and after finishing the 12 reps in total you can take a break before moving on to the second and the third set please don't go And exercise number five is the Romanian deadlift. I am going to perform three sets of 10 reps and then for the final set I might push it a little bit up so I might perform 12 reps. Stay, stay. Now we are at the end of the workout and I'm going to throw in a little burner or finisher routine just to really really fatigue the glutes and I am going to do 10 banded glute bridges into 10 banded hip abductions and then I'm going to do 9 of each and then I'm going to do 8 of each and then I'm done. So let's do it. And since it is Vlogmas day number five, I am going to open the advent calendar and I'm hoping for a protein bar. Um, let's see. Oh, here it is. I'm trying to open it so it doesn't break this time, but it is actually more difficult than it looks. I think we have a snack. And we have a kind maple glazed pecan and sea salt bar. This is it. And the macros are, let's see. Per bar, 212 calories, 17 grams of fat, 14 grams of carbs, 5 grams of fiber and 5 grams of protein. I often get a lot of questions about meal timing and whether I consume protein directly after my training. I always try to consume protein surrounding my training and that is mainly because if I'm able to then why not. So that is mainly my approach. My little tip for today is don't be too worried about the little things if you don't have the big things in order yet. So focus on that first. That being said that was vlogmas day number five. Make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed the workout don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you'll never miss any of my future videos ever again and then i will see you tomorrow for vlogmas day six bye guys <laughs>